something I'm, I'm happy and grateful for at the same time. I mean, like I said, uh, you know, last week uh, when somebody appreciates what you do out on the field enough to, to vote for you and put you up for those kind of awards, I mean, that's uh, you know something that I'm very grateful for, and uh, you know, I, I respect that a lot. And you know, I try not to, to worry about any of the awards during the course of the season. You just try and you know get better and better each day, and uh, you know, at the end of it. Uh, when it comes down to the award time and they, they vote for you, I mean, it's uh, something you're definitely happy for, but uh, it's not the reason you play the game. Of the 12 nominees, two of them are from the city of Weyburn, Saskatchewan. What, what do you think that says about a, a small town in Saskatchewan that's getting that, uh, that much success right now? Uh, I mean, that's pretty crazy when you, when you think about it, uh, you know, all the millions of people that could be potentially out there, and when it gets narrowed down to 12, two of them are from the same same city, uh, you know, it speaks a lot about the, the Weyburn High School program down there, I think. Uh, you know, I know me and Brett can both speak to the good coaching we received early in our careers when we were first starting out, and I think, uh, you know, a lot of the lessons that we learned uh, while we were in high school carried over to the college and then into the pros for us. So, I mean, we were, uh, we were taught, you know, a lot of good things right when we were starting out, and I think that kind of set us up on the right path. So you get a little bit of credit, so you kind of took them under your wing a little bit, didn't you? Uh, no, I mean, Jonesy's made it on his own. I mean, I'm not going to take any credit for him. I mean, he's uh, done a heck of a job out there for him. So, I mean, that's uh, hats off to him. He's done a real nice job. Can you guys go back a little bit? What's kind of the relationship there? You work out together and stuff? And... Yeah, yeah. I mean, uh, he was somebody, when I go back and train at the U of R, I mean, I obviously already had a, the Weyburn connection with him. So he was somebody that, uh, you know, I definitely enjoy trying to help out as much as I could when I'd be back around there. But, uh, you know, he's... He's such a good athlete and he's so smart that, uh, you know, he's fit in so well into the league that he's got, a, you know, a glass ceiling of a pot potential ahead of him. Brandon, when Calgary takes five to six, is that both important for you? Pardon me? When Calgary takes five to six, is that both important for you guys? Uh, no, I mean, that's just... Uh, that's part of it. I think it's going to come down when uh, you're looking at the records and the stats, and I think that's uh, a lot of what determines uh, the award winners. That uh, you know they had a, a great year, and that's definitely you know they're getting uh, recognized for it. Does it mean something to you to be the only rider to get? I guess the next stage. Uh, no, not really. I mean, it's uh, I don't really take too too much into the personal awards. I mean, when I'm all done and I'm retired, maybe I'll look back and you know think about it, but. Uh, you know, I'm already thinking about just day three tomorrow about coming out and getting uh, that much crisper at practice. Who are some of the people in Weyburn that you credit with uh, maybe some of your success and, and would have helped uh, Brett along the way as well? Uh, well, Mike Hoffman, I mean, that, that was the old line coach that both showed us uh, a lot of things. And then Darren Abel, just the head coach of the, the program down there, he did, uh, he did a lot for both of us. And he's got a lot of other guys into the post-secondary ranks too. So, I mean, that's, uh, they got a good staff down there. And, uh, you know, they, they teach you the right fundamentals early. And I think that helps you out down the road. What about you and Xavier? You guys have kind of been the staple of the left side for so long, I guess. How does that work out? Uh, I mean, I think we just get get along well. I mean, uh, we don't, you know, say any extra words, but we say what needs to be said. So I think that's, uh, you know, part of it is just the communication and getting a feel for, for where each other are going to be at. And, you know, I've been fortunate enough to play beside him 17 games this year and Dom all 18. And, you know, if you go back through the career, I think me and Dom have over 50 games together. So, I mean, you get to work between uh, guys that you get that comfortable with. I mean, I think that's... Uh, Something that definitely helps you out a lot and uh, lets you be in a position to be successful. Uh, well, when we were in Winnipeg, we had Chris Garrett, and I mean, he came out and. Uh, you know, when we were in the East Final there, he definitely had a, a big game for us. But, uh, I mean, just as it starts to get colder and you know it's going to be, uh, you know, more and more on the ground, I mean, as an old lineman, that, that's got to fire you up that little bit more, knowing that you're going to get more than one chance to run the ball. So, I mean, that's, uh, that's definitely something that as the playoffs wear on that we start to take pride in.